Hey everybody, welcome back to Mom Can I Have Another Dollar. Today we're playing Mega Twins, which was a lesser made by known Capcom. sequel to Mega Man. It looks a lot like fucking Wonder Boy. Is this another one of those Wonder Boy games? Because apparently, according to the Something Awful thread, uh, it's got a very complicated history of being. It's under a different name for a lot of titles. No, no Wonder Boy was Sega. This shit's uh, this is Capcom, bruh. I mean, it's not like they can't work together. I guess. I, I mean. I mean, like, they pretty much can't, not especially not in the elder <laughs> days. Capcom right. was uh, was one of Nintendo's Catamites. Pro tip, look up Catamite. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to be deadbeat dad. I am right pissed. after you're done with that, look up <laughs> Yannick, because that is the word of the year. The word of the season. Yon yes, it is. Yannick the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, you know, this is making me think of, uh, there's another Capcom game. Uh, I was, for whatever reason, I was just like, f I was watching a show on YouTube. Yeah, this looks a lot like Wonder Boy. Uh, no, it I looks like Kirby. That tree shit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Who made but, uh, Kirby? Sorry, that anyway, was, I was uh... This... You gonna finish that statement? No. I, you, <laughs> you were telling All a right. story. Well, I was gonna say, I was watching this show on that somebody oh, made. Oh, fuck. Oh, those were, what? <laughs> damn it, those looked like they were gonna be, like, helpful. I know. Uh, somebody was making a show on YouTube, and uh, it's called Arcade Pit. Or Arcade romp pit or something, is. and it's it's pretty yeah. interesting. It's uh it's got a lot of uh they like it's like a game show, like with video games. So they do a lot of cool things. Like they do uh, like Nick Arcade. Kinda. It's like they ask questions and then uh but it's like all like YouTubers. So it's pretty interesting. Right. So it made me wonder if there was like quiz games like from uh, arcade stuff. And I found out that Capcom made a game called uh, Quizzes and Dragons. And it's basically what exactly what it sounds like. It's based off of like Dungeons and Dragons. But you answer mm -hmm. questions to defeat the monsters and stuff like that. And that sounds like the lamest thing possible. Yeah, it, well the thing about it is that like all the questions, the game was made in like the, the 80s, so it was fucking impossible for me. Because it yeah. would ask questions, it'd be like, which baseball player joined the the, the Major League Baseball League in last year? And I'm like, okay, well. The Anti-Defamation League. <laughs> The Negro Leagues. <laughs> oh my god, no. Nick. <laughs> Dude, there was, a, there was a place in Korea that sold like custom jackets and stuff. And I, I, I remember they had a Negro Leagues jacket just sitting <laughs> out in the window. They I did! Like, I remember that. Uh, and I, I wanted to buy it for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, I can already tell you guys right now, this is not going to be a long series. This <laughs> is really hard. Yeah, anyway. you guys look like you're really sucking ass at it. Yeah, this is gonna be like when we played Hardhead the first time. Yeah, where this... it's all just flashing strange imagery. Where it was confusion. like eight minutes long because we couldn't yeah. get through it. Well, this was, uh, I mean, you know, early Capcom. Those games were pretty brutal. They did but, uh... bring us Russian Crash, not the uh, Soviet driving <laughs> simulator game. Yeah, not, no, not well, the fall I mean... of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't recall Russian Crash being one of our all-time favorites. No, it wasn't. Hey, hey, wait, that monster was a little bit yonic. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I don't know about that. You're like a child who just learned how to read, and you want to show everybody that you can do yeah. it. Yeah. I learned the greatest and most useful word in the entire language, <laughs> apparently. How did you do I that? I mean, oh. how uh, many times a day... The B button? <laughs> Before you knew that word, where were you? You were adrift, you were lost, you didn't know what was what. <laughs> I, was fa I was staring death in my car with a piece of sheet metal rocketing towards my head and waiting for the, the glass to break. And at that moment, and it you never said, happened. if only I had a word for vagina like. <laughs> You're right. The I did last, think that. The last oh. unfulfilled hope that ever went through your mind. <laughs> oh, man. So I tried to put in my name as Piss, and it changed it to USA. <laughs> it oh. made me patriotic instead. No, no. They knew what they were doing. They meant, they go, Piss, huh? Piss. Hmm, he meant USA, of course. Yeah. <laughs> That's just their dig at America. Yeah, maybe maybe they think the two are synonymous, and they're just you know they're being uh, they're being controversial. Yep. They uh, should uh, was... they, they should do a big uh, news story about it. You know, like teenagers masturbating with live wires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Wait, I... Call back to last week. Call, uh, call back to Fox News headlines. Yep. <laughs> Fox News headlines where masturbation. The, uh, yeah. You think? I think Sean Baby did a pretty rad article on like, uh, you know, like, kind of trumped up headlines on crazy stuff kids are doing, and it was, 
It's pretty excellent. But I forget. Yeah. I forget what they specifically said, but there was something about, like, uh, some, some fictional thing called a rainbow party, where, like, teenage girls put on different colors of lipstick and suck guys' dick so that they leave a rainbow pattern on them. <laughs> and, uh... What? As wonderful as that sounds, actually, I mean, like, it wouldn't work, because all the colors are just smudged together and you'd end up with, like, brown, smudgy dicks. Which should only happen at a different kind of party. Uh, guck, 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 guck. Um, once again... <laughs> well, wait, let me just point out that again you have a game where, like, that thing from the Argentinian flag is an element. <laughs> The on the sun. screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that that yeah. one's going to be strangely common in life, I'm afraid. Yeah. The sun is well, pretty prolific as far as humans are concerned. The sun with that exact fucking face, though. I mean, come on now. A Don't sad <laughs> face? The sun. <laughs> I, didn't know, did you, I didn't not know what the sun is and only <laughs> recognize it from that flag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus uh, Christ. I was going to say, like, when you're talking about the blowjob thing, uh... Yeah. It makes me makes me think of that callback to uh, when we were in, when we were playing Berserk, just me and you. When we were blowing each other. <laughs> no, when we were in like when we were playing Berserk and we were talking about how like uh, never having a good blowjob and then like. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> and then I said, "Do you know how to give a good blowjob?" And you said, "No, but I know what's bad about them." <laughs> <laughs> um, because that's just a two coke argument. I'm saying I wasn't complaining about never getting one. I'm saying most people just don't know. There's yeah a, no. There's, I'm agree with you. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. A lot of people don't know how to give good blood. And, oh, okay. In fairness, just so I don't get like uh, like uh, accused of not using the word Yannick enough today, <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to do good cunnilingus either. Probably. I'm amazing at cunnilingus. I'm the best. Yeah, right. You're 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 you're, a, you're like a two-headed turtle. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid like, and a lie. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> Ask Wait, any... no, there isn't! I saw a real two-headed turtle once. It was at Korea in a in an aquarium. Um, I, oh, well, I thought you were saying that two-headed turtle was like a euphemism for a man with two dicks. Um... Which would be no. really surprising if it was in, a, in an aquarium. I apropos. was saying apropos the thing on the screen in the game you are currently playing that I am also watching, but actually... <laughs> oh. My, my, uh, my bar became to terrifying reality. <laughs> It oh, this is like Journey to the West sort of thing, benefits. where like you fly in the cloud. That's what Dragon Ball Z is based on. Yep. Hey, oh, no. those coins you're collecting look very reminiscent of the coins from a game called Ape Iron, which was like a ripoff of Centipede on the Mac OS. If okay. you like that specific reference, go ahead and like and subscribe, and then <laughs> uh, share us on your uh, social network. Get us a lot of money. Get us a, a gig oh. on the Daily Show. We'll <clears throat> plug it. I was actually going to say, uh, no, when we were recording stuff the other day, or last night, uh, I was yeah. going to try to make it sound like we've been doing this for a while, uh, but yeah. uh, Nick's girlfriend came out here and she like took a picture and then posted it on Facebook and then we got the most subscribers at one time ever. Ever. Three whole subscribers. <laughs> no, no, no. Five. I got five whole subscribers. That's once. what happens when, oh, my little joke fell flat because it was almost accurate. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, that's what happens when an actually cool person shares something on social media. It's true. When someone you know, with friends. Yeah. yeah. Friends. Those things we can't have because we're terrible. <laughs> and never will. God damn it. Well, it's like, actually, it's funny because me and Nick were talking about this the other day. It's like, we're at, now at that age where it's like I no longer look at people like for, as friends for like just normal friendship. Like I look yeah. at them, like what value do you have to me? Yep, that's being an adult, all right. That's how the entire world operates. <laughs> it is true. Uh, true. Are we putting in another dollar for this or? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't really. Should be. Nah, let's make this a one-off. Let's make this a one-off. So okay. I'll, I'm almost dead. Let's let's leave them wanting more. Yeah. That's, as much as you know, I want to know where... Oh, my God. That was violent. Yeah. Hey, guess what word I want to use right now. <laughs> Teratoma. Is it, is it pterodactyl? Uh, close, it's always, but it's, it's actually Yannick. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, uh, dude, I learned that it's actually... It is now your turn to jam that clam. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And polish the pearl and, and all the other so forths. Yeah, actually, I learned in. that there, um, there was, like, these pterodactyls that were like 50 fucking feet tall and they were quadrupedal and they could still fly and they're pretty terrifying looking 
Oh, kind of like how um, sloths were also gigantic back in the day? Yeah, but way bigger, and they were just like, ro they looked like cranes. Not like the bird cranes, but like the machine cranes, and they oh. walked around. <laughs> and then they could actually just pick up and fly at your ass. Isn't that fucking spooky? What the Man. fuck? That's pretty crazy. I remember um, learning about the Hast's eagle. Never... It was like it was a tremendous oh, yeah, yeah, bird yeah. that was big enough to swoop off with like a cow, a person. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and like uh, a lot of people believe that they were the inspiration for myths of things like the rock, uh, the, like the giant bird. Oh uh, yeah, I thought you meant like the the wrestler, the rock that was in. Yeah. The oh, movie. hey, look, <laughs> the full origin circle. stories of of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yeah, full circle. We just saw, <laughs> we just saw two naked children. That's the that's the uh, uh, underlying secret theme that we haven't spoken about once. Yeah, this returning time. to the womb. Yeah, <laughs> that's what people tune in to our channel for. Yep. Anyway, well, anyway I, I hope believe you guys... we haven't played the game for a full two minutes now, so I guess we'll let you guys go. <laughs> Fucking yeah. S join us next time. My mom can have a dollar if you somehow haven't managed to click off yet. Worst worst episode ever. <laughs> like and favorite if you jammed the clam.